So our second example using the word that as an expletive reads that you bought your college degree on the dark web does not surprise me. So because the noun clause begins the sentence, and I know it's a noun clause because here's this word that, it has a, a subject and a verb, you, and then bought. And so therefore, I can kind of hear where this thing breaks, that you bought your college degree on the dark web does not surprise me. It starts the sentence. And so therefore, when it begins the sentence, it's probably serving as the subject of the sentence. So therefore, it's serving as the subject of this sentence, something does not surprise me. So for that reason, I'm going to assume that my tree is going to have to be at the very beginning because this thing's going to be my subject. So I'm going to go ahead and diagram the rest of the sentence, which is does surprise direct object me and does not surprise me. Little tip for all of you. I like diagramming the rest of the sentence before I get into my my noun clause. So I like finding my noun clause, figuring out what it's going to be doing, and then doing it last. So now I realize, okay, this thing's trying to be the subject. I think it just makes it much easier for me to kind of understand what's going on. So I look at this thing. I know this whole sentence is going to be a pattern seven because this is my main sentence. My main sentence is sitting way down here. Something does not surprise me, direct object. You're like, what does not surprise you? Well, this noun clause. So when I get up here, once again, I'm going to figure out why am I putting this on a tree? Well, it's not a gerund. It's not an infinitive. It's a clause. It's a little mini sentence. It has a subject and a verb. It has a place for the word you. I just broke my rule. I always start with my verb and I start with my subject. I'm an idiot. Sorry, everybody. Here's my verb, bought. And then I bought direct object, degree. And you'll notice all I'm doing is simply diagramming like a regular sentence. I'm going to skip that word, that. I'm going to take care of him at the very end. Um, I bought degree... It's your degree. It's also a college degree. And then you bought your college degree where? Well, here's on the dark web, and it's right next to the word degree, but that's not what it's modifying. It's not a degree on the dark web, but I think you bought it on the dark web. So be careful with these prep phrases. I'm getting a little bit more picky about it on your quizzes, and I want to make sure you're doing well with that. So I'm going to come down with on... You bought it on web, the web, dark web. All right. And now, once again, because it's a noun clause, it has to start with something which begins a noun clause. And right now, all we have is the word that as a possibility. The word that's an expletive, floats, a couple dashed lines, doesn't matter how many, sits up here on a satellite, and the word that it's a start right there. It's perfect. All right, so this concludes the first page of our work on nominal clauses, and we're going to switch over to page two and take a look at interrogatives next.